Hey, welcome back to Tybee Time. Here, I have a corned beef brisket. It was about three pounds. And all I did with it, I took it from the packaging that it came in. And I took out the spice packet that came with it. I put it in this pot. I filled the pot with water just to cover the brisket. And then I put the spice packet in. I cut one onion. I put one clove of garlic in. And on top, as you can see, there are some thyme sprigs, fresh thyme sprigs that I put in there as well. And that was it. Put the cover on, put it in the oven at 350 for three hours. So here's where we are right now. I'm going to save all of the broth from here. And I'm going to take the brisket out and I'm going to put it on a sheet pan and I'm going to cover it with a really nice glazy sauce that is going to make this the best sandwich brisket ever. Because I'm just using this brisket again for sandwiches, not as a dinner. So stay with me. Okay, guys, so here's what I just did. I put this uh, mesh over a container and I poured all of the broth from cooking the corned beef to separate all of the, you know, pickling spice and onions and whatnot that I put in here. And I'm gonna keep that broth and I'm gonna use it to make some kind of soup or something. So I'm keeping that, I just wanna show you. Over here's my brisket. And now I have found sriracha teriyaki wok sauce. Look at that, sweet and savory. You know what, gonna spread this all over the brisket and put it back in the oven for 30 minutes. Hey guys, so I just poured a little bit of that sauce on here and I am just going to spread it around. And I'm gonna set it back in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, just to get a nice glaze on it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in the oven Stay with me. Going in for 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the Russian dressing that I make. There is about a quarter of a cup of ketchup. I scored it in here. And I add some mayonnaise. And I just kind of eyeball it the way I like it, I guess. Um, my ratio is like a little bit of mayonnaise and then a little bit of sour cream that kind of matches the mayonnaise. And then I also like to squirt, you know, like just a drop or two of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so there's some Worcestershire. Just a, ah, that's plenty. And that is all I do to make my Russian dressing, okay? So this is, you know, for sandwiches. The corned beef is still in the oven. And it's gonna be out in about seven minutes. So this is my Russian dressing. We'll be back to make sandwiches. Okay, guys, my corned beef has just come out of the oven. Let me grab it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let me set it right here. I'm going to cover that. Look, at there's a lot of the fat cap that stuck to this, but you know what that's going to do? That's going to go into my beautiful golden retriever supper tonight. So I'll let that cool down a little bit. And this is gonna get a little bit of aluminum foil. Let's let it rest. We're gonna let her rest for about 15 minutes. We'll come back and I'll show you how to slice it. Okay, guys, thanks for waiting and watching. And here is my brisket. It's been resting for about 15 minutes. You can still see some steam coming off it. But I wanna show you how to slice a corned beef and you have to slice it against the grain is how they call it. Now look at this beef. Right here you can see that the muscle fibers are all running in this direction. Do you see it? I don't know if you see what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna try and show you. Let's turn it over. All right, that's a lot of fat. Let me take that off. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take it off because my dog's gonna love it. I well, had to take a bite. All right, let's shake the fat off. See the muscle fibers? See how they all run in this direction? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to slice against the grain, okay? So just cut it totally against the grain. And if you don't cut it against the grain, it's really chewy and it's horrible. So that is the reason. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, I'm taking another bite. Sorry. Let me show you. Let me flip this over. Okay, the grain runs this way. See this? Oh, beautiful. Okay, the grain runs this way. See how beautiful? Oh, and these are my slices for sandwiches. Oh, I cannot wait. It is still steaming hot, but seriously. All right, so this is the correct way to cut any meat against the grain. Because there's a lot of people, you know, any brisket, against the grain, against the grain. Well, this is how you do it. I hope you understood what I'm saying. But, oh my goodness. I can't stop eating it. Thanks for watching Tiny Time.